Hi, I'm the 13th Wolfman. This is my review for uh, what's it? It's Independent Entertainment, which is put out by, which is distributed by Alternative Cinema. The people over Alternative Cinema were nice. It, Alternative Cinema were nice enough to send over Pork Chop to Rise of the Rind. Now, I'll be honest. I when I got this. Wasn't quite sure what to think because the first movie was just bad. I mean, in my opinion, it was bad. It just so Pork Chop Two comes out, and I'm thinking, okay, well, can it get any worse? Actually, no. We can get better. This is a this is one of those instances where the second movie is better than the first movie by far by far. This almost feels like a reboot. And the funny thing is, is that here you got the movie called Pork Chop 2 Rise of the Rind. This is the only place it's called that. On the disc it's called Pork Chops. At the end of the movie it's called Pork Chops. So, I don't know. This is not rated. You have Missy Dawn in this who is the girlfriend, our wife of Iman Hardiman, who wrote and directed this. Um, you have Kaylee Williams. You have, you gotta love this, Sean C. Phillips, a.k.a. Cool Duder, from, from his YouTube channel, is in this with, uh, with the family. You get to see Herb, Gina, Ethan, a.k.a. Dweebo. And Sean act as a family. They're, they're in like one little scene where they're shown a news thing. And it's really funny because you can see that Sean is, Sean is the one that's really trying to act. And the rest of the family are just kind of doing this. And even though I, I know the whole family from watching the Cool Duder episodes... They didn't seem very much family-like. <laughs> they are a family, but they did not seem very family-like. So I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, but here you have a kid that moves to this little town in West Virginia. But his family buys the house. They're expecting the movers to show up with the furniture and other stuff. I guess there's some furniture in the house. I don't quite get how that works. But um, but the fur the movers never show up, and so the parents have got to go back to I think it's New York, to find out what's happened to their stuff. They leave the kid there for the week, you know he's a high schooler, and in this time he's he's found one friend, played by I believe I believe the main girl. Is uh, is Missy Dawn? Um, not a hundred percent sure on that, but I think it is. And um, she uh, she befriends him and says, "Hey, we're gonna throw a party and get you more friends." And one by one, the friends go missing. And uh, it's a horror film. What do you expect? Uh. The thing I loved about this is that as much as I didn't like the first film, in this movie, I like the fact that they didn't spend a lot of time talking about the first... This movie really feels to me like a reboot. Like like the director was trying to reboot the entire series because he looked at what he got in the first movie and said, well, you know what, there were some mistakes made. Let's see if I can better on that. And I think he did. Now, I watched this with three people, myself, my best friend, and another friend, and I asked them what they thought of this movie after it was over. My best friend, he he's not a big horror fan, but he loved this movie. He gives it a three and three quarter chainsaws out of four. The other friend gave it two and three quarter chainsaws out of four. And I gave it three chainsaws out of four. So I added all the scores together, and it averaged out to about three point, 
one six chainsaws out of four. So I'm just going to round it down to three. And that's what it's going to get. It's going to get an average of three chainsaws out of four. So, um, yeah. This is definitely worth watching. I This is much better than the first film. I... I like the look of the mask better in this movie. I do wish Porkchop, I mean, Porkchop's in it, but we don't get to see a lot of them. There's a, there's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of character development, and Porkchop shows up towards the end, but, I mean, just real nice to see him a little bit more. And the one thing, the one thing that still bugs me about Eamon's, I think I'm saying his name right, uh, Miss Eamon Hardeman's, uh, directing is that he needs to get somebody that knows how to use the sound equipment because there are times where you just can't hear what the hell they're saying get that microphone in there man get it in there turn the mic stuff up T turn the sound up when when you when you have it in post production sit down and mix the sound so that we can hear everything I know you know what everything that is being said because you wrote the script. But you got to think about the people that are watching it. The sound is the one thing that's just, it's not bad. I can hear some of the stuff, but there's there are a few parts where it just seems like it drops off. Work on the sound. That's the one thing you got to work on. This is Pork Chop 2 Rise of the Ride. I am the 13th Wolfman. I give this three chainsaws out of four. I'm on the prowl.